Hi! So I've been super busy, so I haven't been making videos as often as I usually do, or at least as often as I want to. Um, but I'm back, and hopefully I will continue making videos as often as I would like to. Stuff that's been going on. My cat got sick, kind of. She has a lump on her back, and I freaked out and was like, oh my god, my cat's gonna die, it has cancer. Um, but <laughs> I took her to the doctor, and she is okay. Um, the doctor says it's just a lump, not cancer. So we're good. My cat is not gonna die, so we're good there. Um, and uh, um, I've been trying to find new things to read. If you guys have any recommendations, I would love them because I need things to read that aren't fashion magazines. <laughs> um, but if anyone suggests Fifty Shades of Grey, I'm just gonna... No. No thank you. I'm not. Mm -mm. The best part is that I was riding the bus the other day and um, saw a girl reading it on the bus, which first of all is just like, really? You're reading it on the bus? Um, and second of all, she was reading it with this look on her face. <laughs> like, didn't really look like she was enjoying it. So, not the best review on her part for that book. But, alright, anyway, got that out of the way. Um, as m the title of this video says, I wanted to talk about my little Sephora Give Me Some Lip set that I found at my Sephora. It sold out online pretty much as soon as it became available, so I held out no hope for getting this at all. Um, but I happened to walk into my Sephora to return some stuff and, um turned around and there it was. It was in this random corner of the store. So I guess look around in the random corners of your store because that's where mine was. Um, and I purchased it because I thought, all right, you know, this is actually a really good amount of stuff for $25. Let's try it out. First and foremost, I want to say when I first got home and I swatched everything, my first thought was, None of this is very pigmented. I don't really know how I feel about this purchase right now. And I almost slightly regretted it. Um, and that was just because I swatched it on my hand. And um, I've got to say, this is something that you have to try on yourself. Um, I'm obviously only going to show you swatches because I'm already wearing something. But um, I'm wearing Fashion Nomad, by the way. Um, just try it. If you find it, try it. Um, it's one of those things where it's meant to be universal and it's meant to be something that maybe you wear with other stuff, you know? So I'll start off with one of the first things. Um, this is the Tarte Lip Surgeons Natural Matte Lip Tint and this one is in the color Hope. I'm looking at the bottom. Uh, it's Hope. Um, and I actually, th this was my very favorite thing from the, from the collection. Um, as soon as I tried it, I thought, okay, I actually really like that. I think it's a very beautiful, natural kind of tint for someone who has pigmented or not very pigmented lips because it's very neutral but berry-ish. So I think it's one of those really good colors for fall. Um, the, the only problem with those Tarte Matte Lip Surgeons pencils is that they can feel a little drying. And so what I figured out that I really liked um, putting over it was this Sephora lip gloss that comes with it. So it's a very pale pink, and as you can see, it has shimmer in it. Usually, I stay away from shimmer. I'm not usually a fan. This one is in the color Precious Pink. And also, this is so light that usually I would be like, that's not going to look good on me. But, bear with me here. I tried it on, and I loved it. It doesn't actually have much of a tint to it. But when you pair it on top of the Tarte Lip Surgeons, it's very pretty. It just, it, I mean, I know that the Tarte Lip Surgeons is meant to be matte, but like I said, it feels so drying on my lips, and I love the color, but I also love giving it a little bit of playfulness with this kind of like glittery, glossy color. So wear them together, wear them alone. Either way, those were my two favorite things in here. Um, and also, I really love the smell of this. It's not strong. And it's not offensive. I will say that I'm incredibly sensitive to smells. So, that being said, 
There is then the Laura Mercier gloss that comes with this collection. I've never used a Laura Mercier gloss, so um, I'm going to be honest and say that I had no idea that they smell so strongly. Like, and it smells like vanilla, like really strong vanilla smell, and it almost like makes me not want to use it. But I will say that the smell does go away after a little while. Um, and it's a very pretty color. It's like, I would say like it's a mid-tone pink and it's very sheer. So it does deposit some color, but it's sheer. So if you have super pigmented lips like me, it doesn't pop very much, but it's nice for putting over things. One of the other things that came with the collection, oh, sorry, this um, Laura Mercier color is Baby Doll. So that's, yeah, I, I like the color. Really not a big fan of the smell, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the next one here is called uh, Vintage, and this is by Bite Beauty. This one also has a smell, but it's much more pleasant, and it's much more muted. Um, and this one is more of like a mauve -y kind of purple color. Um, I'd, I'd say more mauve than purple, but... This one I liked on myself as well. It deposits a good amount of color and it just kind of, it does like a my lips but better kind of a deal and with some gloss. And it tastes really good. And it, the smell is not very offensive, but there is a smell for people who are even more sensitive than I am to smells. Um, and let's see. And this is something that I didn't feel that I needed. I have so many now, especially because of my birthday, I got a free one and but um, it's the Sugar Rose uh, Balm. And I think everyone's probably seen this or tried it somehow. But it's it's a really good lip gloss or lip balm, to be honest. It, it's um, It's got SPF in it. it. It adds a very flattering bit of color to any skin tone, any lip color. Um, so I, I think, I mean, if you don't own it, it's one of those things that you should try it at least once. And if you hate it, return it. But it, it's a really, really good balm. And it, it really works. It really does moisturize very well. I know it's expensive, but if you can get it in a set, it's worth it. And the very last thing that comes with this is, um, this is my third favorite thing, is this hourglass balm or lip gloss called uh, Child. And um, this is... The full size of this is actually $28, so really when you start looking at this, $25 is such a great price for all of this stuff. Um, and this color is such a beautiful, beautiful nude that I think is very universal because it doesn't go concealer nude and it doesn't have a lot of brown in it to make it too um, lean too brown for people who are more fairer skinned. I think it's a very, very natural nude and here you can see that it doesn't have enough color or it doesn't deposit a lot of color but it actually does have enough pigment to lighten my own pigmented like lip tone it um so it is actually pretty darn pigmented I think um I think my only complaint is that it doesn't last an incredibly long time my favorite way to use this is actually using a lip liner, maybe like Max um, Boldly Bare, and then putting this on top. And it's like the perfect long-lasting nude lip. Um, so I'm actually a big fan of this. Uh, I think that everything in this little set performs really well. I think if, if I could choose to replace something with something else, it'd be this Laura Mercier gloss. I really hate that smell. I really do. It's horrible. Um, the worst part about it is that I, um, when I bought this, I got this Laura Mercier 500 point perk thing. And it comes with another glass that I'm probably not going to use because the smell is disgusting. Um, but I will show you what it looks like. So it comes with um, this little eye eyeliner. And this is the uh, black gold coal eye pencil. I'm going to have to start doing it on my other hand. So when it says black gold, it, I feel like it's kind of accurate because it's kind of like a blackened, uh, darker kind of gold color. I very much like it. I think it would be really flattering on 
brown or blue or green eyes um it's it's a good tone that it doesn't really like it, it, it doesn't lean too yellow or, or too orange or anything like that it comes with this little tiny foundation primer i actually have um a, a larger size of this not the full size but another kind of tester size and i actually very much like this foundation primer um you just have to make sure that you use something with SPF um, since that doesn't contain it. It also comes with this little eyeshadow. This one is called Black Carrot. And the, this shadow is actually very pretty as well. And I think it goes very well with this eyeshadow, um, which I'm sure they did on purpose. And again, it's kind of like a blackened gold color. Which makes sense because this is kind of like a black eyeshadow with like veining of gold in there. And what else came with this? It came with a little tiny mascara. I believe this is mascara. Yeah, full blown volume mascara in black. So let's look at the wand. It's a pretty good size wand right there. Um, so I'll have to try that out. And. Last but not least, the Laura Mercier Gloss. This one is actually the color Sparkling, so it is different than the one that comes in the Give Me Some Lip collection. Um, let's see. It's actually lighter and more pearlescent than the one that comes in the Give Me Some Lip collection. So this is the one in the Give Me Some Lip, Lip collection. This is the one that comes in the 500 Point Perk. It's kind of like a lighter pearlescent pink um, where is this is more neutral this is definitely a little more cool um, but again it's got that really strong scent that I'm not a huge fan of but I will try to get over it because these are actually not horrible performing glosses so that's the 500 point perk I'm actually a pretty big fan of it um, mostly because of the primer and the eyeshadow and the eyeliner the eyeshadow and the eyeliner I'm very excited about um, I think that they're great colors, especially for fall. And um, like I said, the foundation primer, love how it performs. So it's it's worth it, I think. Um, I'm currently uh, teetering between this one and the Hourglass primer. I've been, you know, going back and forth with them, trying to figure out which one I like it a little more. I feel like this one is a little more moisturizing. So if you feel like you have dry skin, uh, when I have like a dry skin day, I feel like I just kind of subconsciously reach for this. Whereas if I'm having a really good skin day, I kind of subconsciously reach out for the hourglass primer. So something to think about. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's all of the, uh, all of the, uh, give me some lip swatches there. And that's the swatch for the uh, 500 point perk. And that's the, uh, eyeliner and the eyeshadow so there you go and like I said I'm wearing um fashion nomad right now if you're wondering so hopefully you guys enjoy this hopefully it's helpful and like I said I'm going to try to keep posting videos as often as I did before I'm very sorry that I abandoned you for like two weeks <laughs> and thank you so much for watching guys I think I just passed 250 subscribers so you guys are amazing and it means so much that you guys are watching and enjoying and subscribing and keep commenting and um, I will see you guys later bye